living a life here in Vegas. So I just wanted to talk about a uh, life Las Vegas and like it's all about it's all about low max, baby. It's all about maxing out and trying everything when you don't got it. So when you do got it, you get exactly what the fuck you want and you get stuff happening. You get me? Because there's nothing like having the dough and having the the things, but then you don't got the model to show up because you didn't take the time to fucking do the work to find and meet people and greet and your net worth the shit, you know? So that's why you gotta talk about it now. So when you when the ball starts rolling with all my projects, you know, the people that were aware and the people that wanna be a part of my uh, life community, you know, because all you gotta do is have a life, bro. You know, it may not even be your life. You might be a fucking slave, bro, but it's still a life, you know. But anyway, so that's what it is, bro. It's just a life, you know. I just wanted to be a really good clothing brand here in Vegas. Like, I wanted to be, like, a go-to brand, you know, like socks, underwear, basic stuff like tees and things like that. Some expensive tees, you know. Like, you know, I, I want that everyday T-shirt, you know, that everybody can afford to get, you know, that one piece, you know. That everybody can afford to get not an accessory, you know, like a t-shirt or a sweater, you know, but then do it But then at the same time have more costlier items or more costly collabs So you can so there's like two stores. It's a high-low store, you know So there's like exclusive limited collab shit and then there's like every day you can come in and buy the t-shirt shit, you know Yeah, wow, you know but mostly my my store a life is basically just um it's community based bro i'm a fake ass jew you know what i mean i'm not a fucking bodybuilder like that but you know you're going to need the 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 body of a life bro you know you're going to need the hooch of a life you know you're going to need the gay fuck of a life you know you're going to need you, you know it's cuz it's i live in a city bro and everybody has a life okay? that's what that's what's behind my um my brand a life you know you and then life because there's so many stories out here there's so many possible collabs and then at the same time i'm an artful person bro you know and that's another side of dimensional a life bro because uh you know when you're an artist bro it's just like yeah it's a life you know and if you're in porn oh it's a life but you know if you're doing drugs it's a life but this is for people that live do you get me you gotta live to get this shit but anyways it is what it is but my shit's mostly community based you know here in vegas you know and it's a vegas brand you know it's not like a new york brand in vegas so it's like i'm growing this organically here in vegas and then plus i like music i like arts and shit so wherever i go why not bring the shit with me you know what i mean <laughs> From dope to tease or some shit. I don't know. It's just crazy. So that's what's going on, my G's. Um, I was like watching this shoe shoe thing on the Instagram, and I was like watching the guys talking about Supreme and talking about shoes, and all I heard was Nike is going to shit. <laughs> Supreme has lost its value, and you're late if you haven't noticed that. And then you're like, wow. What an upgrade, bro, you know? I mean, I still haven't got one Supreme item in my whole life, so it's crazy. So um, I've never bought Supreme anything, <laughs> you know? But, you know, because they've never had shit I wanted. Or, like, I just, you know, I guess I guess Supreme missed my era of, you know, you know, it just missed me. You know, fuck it, I just, I just wasn't present in school, I guess. So I guess I was watching him talk about Supreme and talking about Yeezy, and all I could hear was, these are the brands that are falling in my head, you know, to me, you can follow my, I mean, that's just my, my opinion. And then I was like, so you're saying you can buy hype time. Wow. But is it real hype if you paid for the hype time, you know, but I was like, fuck, I'd rather earn the hype, you know, and be for a limited time known brand and then die and then bring the brand back. Cause people remembered it, you know, not like, I don't know, fuck it, whatever. I got to keep it real, bro. You know, but yeah, that's what I was thinking. So, it's because I was going to share, like, that I think the future of shoes is really cool big print, you know, like sponsor tires, you know, when they put the big ass fucking Michelin sign on the side of the fucking tire and it's like fucking boss, like badass, you know, and that's what I was thinking about the next shoes that come out, okay, fuck Nikes, you know, Nikes are cool, whatever, but it's like big, big text, bro, big brand text, you know, like the 90s and shit, because those were some shoes out there, I remember when I was younger, that there were shoes like that with big ass text on the side and shit and they were hella cool they were hella expensive and shit so it was trippy so then my mind went to like um 
what is the high beast you know honestly not being an american person and like being hondurian and being broke and like whatever like in my country like it's, it's not about that it's not about the hype beast it's about the the hype brand so it's about the brand bro not 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 the breed you know because when i see that when i thought the hype beast was like you're gonna buy whatever's the hottest shit at the time you know what I mean? And it's never the same shit, bro. You know what I mean? It could have been like the Versace. You could have been like the Calvin Klein, the Hugo Boss, you know? The fucking, you know, <laughs> I don't know, whatever shoes were out, man. You know? <clears throat> and it was about being a brand beast before being a high beast or being a cost beast. You know? Because that's another kind of beast. There's the the cost beast that could only, that could only like buy expensive shit. And then there's the fucking, the limited edition beast that could only buy a limited edition shit, you know, or exclusive shit. And then you get the hype beast that buys the shit that just because everybody's wearing it, you know. Because that's what hype beast is looking like now. Before hype beast was the guy buying the exclusives, the expensives, and the hard to find. But now it looks like the hype beast is whoever's following the trend. And that's what I heard on the show, like what, from what they were saying, it's just that the definition of a hive beast has changed, that it's a, whatever the mass is buying, that's what you're getting, because Yeezys, anybody can get Yeezys, I guess, and anybody can buy Supreme. It's not a hard to find item, you know, but it is, it's crazy, you know, because of all these resellers and shit, there's, there's not, it's not a hard to find item, but anyways... So I just wanted to share that, you know, I don't, you know, if it makes you happy, buy this shit, bro. That's all I gotta say, you know, but when it comes down to it, that is a hard sell. But you know what? At the same time, you know, Supreme started out like that too. They started making their own clothes and shit or whatever story you want to believe. I thought it was a guy who quit to do stocks, but anyway, that there's two dudes, one with glasses and one without. But so, um, I just thought about a life and it's a life Las Vegas. And it's it's a, it's a company that's built on people having a life, you know, and expressing their life through the brand. So there's so many people in this. In, there's so many musicians. There's so many graffiti artists. There's so many strippers. There's so many, you know, everybody gets to a peak at a different time. And so there's a different collab waiting to happen. You know, I just got to put it out there that I want to work with people under a life, you know. So what I was thinking is having the, the typical everyday wears, you know, like T-shirts, socks, underwears, belts, you know, just the basic stuff, you know, at affordable prices. You're looking at like a 10 pack of fucking socks for like 20 bucks, you know, let's say a life, you know, and then you're looking at like tees for like 20, 30 bucks, you know, and then like exclusive tees, like those limited things for like whatever it costs to work out the collab with the person. But anyway, so it's, it's your boy said we had a life Las Vegas and our story is about life. You know, it's sometimes, you know, it's like I need it. That's why I need to do this other job, you know, do the trade shit so that I can have that place where motherfuckers could just come and sit down. And just just kick it. Like another thought that was going through my head is to why do fashion where you could just have a the dollar pizza spot, you know, and just have people come and kick it in the store. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because that's what happens. You know, people don't people don't shop, bro. You know, especially at the level that I'm at, that I'm new. You know, and uh, you know I'm keeping on the down low. I, it's about the community base, you know. They need that place to go kick it, bro. They need that go place to hang out. And that could be the center of the new world in Vegas, you know, at our life, you know. A store is a lot of things to a lot of people, you know what I mean? But it's like I have to be able to take the, uh, the just want to come and hang out in the store, you know. And that's basically what I'm paying for, community-based shit. So, you know, it's like, it's like, yeah, it's, it is what it is, you know. I, I really just want to sell socks and T-shirts, you know. And the occasional three-pack underwear, you know, and have a collab with some people, you know. But, you know, that's what, that's basically what it is. It's called A Life Las Vegas. It's a brand in Las Vegas. That's gonna, it's going to be a store because I'm going to pay to make it a store, you know. And when you got another job, it's like you can afford to do dumb shit or do. You can afford to run it and make a clothing line fuck up and be like, fuck it. At least I, I made the decision to fuck up. But anyway, so I mean, I'm, 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 I'm enjoying myself. And I hope you guys enjoy the brand as much as I am, especially the It's a Life porn collaboration with these sexy men and women of Vegas. You know, they got to be local, though, because we got to show Vegas finest. You know what I mean? So it's fucking a life, Las Vegas. And it's the it's a life adult versions, you know. So like for the you know, and we're gonna do series on this shit. Series is watch. <laughs>